If you own a small business in St. Louis or are about to pay close attention, we have one of the top experts. We have the top Oh, expert. it is the. Yes. As a matter of fact, yes, she does have a. Susan Solovic is joining us today. You may have seen Susan on uh, Fox Business News. Uh, gosh, on MSNBC. And the list goes yes, on. Yes, she's a still... St. Louisan that doesn't spend that much time in St. Louis. Yeah, you, you, how often do you go to New York? I spend about 50% of my time in New York City, So, mm-hmm. but I get the best of both worlds because I love New York. It's fast-paced. You guys have been yes, there, too. Yes. Fast-paced, a lot going oh, on, yeah. and in the media business, that's where it's at. Uh, but then I get to come home to St. Louis. That's you know, the best. And this lovely community that's that we have here. That's what we thought. Yeah. As much as I love New York, I would rather live in St. Louis and visit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but Susan, you know, hold on a second. Weren't you also Miss America or Miss <laughs> Missouri or Miss something? Miss, she represented she was, Missouri in okay. 1970. Okay, uh, so I was third runner up to Miss America 1980. Yeah. Yes. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So that to me is what the the big credit is here. That is, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> who who do we have doing that? Best selling author according right. to us. Uh, uh, New, New York Times. New York Times. New York Times. Yes, yes. Uh, USA Today. Oh, All yeah, right, I'll cheat. I'll cheat. <laughs> Wall Street Journal. What are you trying How to can remember? I not remember <laughs> Wall Street Journal? USA Today. Thank you very yes, much, yes, Susan. Yes. Uh, I, I know one of your books is uh, It's Your Biz because you had a radio biz. show. That's correct. Yes. Books do you have? I've written four. Wow. I'm working on my fifth one right now. In fact, we have the proposals out to some of the large publishers, so yeah. we'll see. And actually, the title of it is The 1% Club, and it's how to really make small changes in your business operations to soar to success and make millions, to be one of that unique 1% of uh, businesses that really wow. hit it out of the park. Wow. And yeah. if you're not, that's who you want to be looking at. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody should be aspiring to that, because well, running know, a business is so hard. Why not make it worth your while financially? But don't you specialize sort of in women? Do you, you focus and target women? You know, I actually have done a lot of work with women. Now I'm sort of moving more toward, you know, both genders mm-hmm. because really, while there are some nuances that impact women business owners, particularly, a lot of the challenges are just the same. I would so yes, yeah. right. In yeah. fact, I wrote a book called The Girl's Guide to Building a Million Dollar Business. Nice. And a lot of men said to me. I needed to read that. That was a really good book. <laughs> yeah. you know? so, if I so have to I, become a woman, right, that's right. It, <laughs> yeah, just ask Caitlin, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some kind of perks for that. Right. But you know, um, I, gosh, we could use all the perks, right? Um, the question that I think everybody has is how everybody yeah, has ideas and they think, oh, I've got this great idea. If I only had the money to do it, it's always the case. So what, what do you do? Do you, you know, people go around thinking, I just have to get an investor. I have to get a rich investor. Is that the best way to do it? And how do you meet those people? Or is that not the you way? You know, it is so unusual that somebody gets investment money. Yeah. You know, unless you've already been a rock star in starting a startup and building something, people aren't going to throw wads of cash at you. So normally small businesses start primarily with your own personal assets and that sometimes that's even credit card debt and it's usually less than ten thousand dollars and particularly with today with technology the barrier to entry is so low um, so you know personal assets family friendly funding yes, or I say family. fools you yeah, know but yeah. you gotta you only go to those people who can really afford to lose the money because chances are you're gonna not make it uh, which I hate to say that but it's true right. but I do also really love the crowdfunding sites now that are available that are allowing some businesses to oh, yeah. you know raise right. some cash yeah. that they need some capital to get off the ground yeah. And now, when so, you say that they're probably not going to make it, that's just based on statistics. Statistics, right? right absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a gamble. You know, yes. it really is. But even if you don't make it that first time, there's nothing wrong with stubbing your toe, staking, taking a step back, and starting over again. Um, I love it. Bill Gates always says that failure is research. Yeah. So you know what? You <laughs> yeah. just you just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and say, okay, now what am I yeah. going to go do? Failure it's is actually right. expensive research. It is. <laughs> well, there's yeah. something wrong if you don't make mistakes. I mean, well, that, that's true. Know, yeah, yeah, I had a business mistake. fail in my late twenties, and I call it my very expensive MBA. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Yeah. Now you're an attorney as well, right? I am. Yes. Do you use that legal uh, knowledge a lot in your business? And if you weren't an attorney, would you? Well, be- wait a second. Yes. Are you also a notary? No, I'm not. I'm not. I need one today, though. Okay, yeah. Yes. But yeah, do you, can you help yourself today. as a... You know, I do know some of the red flags to watch for. Mm-hmm. Um, certainly how to look at issues. I know things to be aware of. Um, you know, I didn't practice law that long. So really, you know, I know enough just to be dangerous for myself. <laughs> and if you have yourself as a client, you're a fool. So, okay. you know, I can do some of the preliminary work, but I always have my attorneys take a look at and everything. And you, you would recommend that. Absolutely. Now, yeah. tell us about 
about your new website? It's called the Small Business Expert Academy. Okay. And it is designed to really help people understand how to grow their businesses, to ignite them, to make more money. Um, I got a lot of requests from people saying, gee, would you coach me? Would you be a one-on-one mentor? And I only have so many hours in the day. So for a very minimal investment of $99 a year, that's the membership fee, you get me 24-7, you know, and so I am like your virtual mentor. That's great. And cool. I take people through, and it's very interactive, and I really hope that it really makes a difference that for a lot of small businesses. That does make a difference. Because I've used something like that in the past that was uh, specific to an industry, and uh-huh. it was so helpful. It was a lifeline. So that, that, that you feel like you have some support. You have a, Right. You're a not out there all alone. And if, no. it's, if it's good for you to do it at 3 a.m. in the morning, that's, that's when you go to do it, right? That's the best part of it. Yes, you don't have absolutely. to make meetings during the day. Right, precisely. Now, let's get a little sneak on this. Okay. What is the number one mistake that is, uh, this is for the people who are sitting at home saying, I, you know, I'm, I've been wanting to start this business. Maybe, maybe this is the time to do it. What's the number one mistake they're going to make? I think the number one mistake they're going to make is that they don't anticipate how hard it's going to be. Oh, yes. You know, absolutely. Yeah. It's 24-7. Yeah. And the big thing is you have to be a people person. Yeah. So you're not just going to o- o- hang out your shingle and say, open yeah. for business and then watch the business come in. Right. You have got to get out there and hustle. And you've got to be the salesperson. And you are the product or the service in the beginning. If you don't love it, if don't you, even if, try. If you, yeah. if you, and if you're not that type of person then maybe you need somebody to go into business with you yeah, who does have that's that personality. The, the Jewish people have a phrase for that. Is it, it, it is if you don't go into business, if you don't know how to smile. <laughs> you call it the Small Business Expert Academy. That's correct. But the website is smallbizexpertacademy.com. That's go to right. It. You'll see Susan right on the front page there, and she'll start talking to you, listen to her, and just follow through from there. Thank That's you right. so much, Susan. Thank you, guys. It Thank was so you. much fun. It's not, not always nice to see you. And today's segment is made possible through the generosity of Dr. Matt Bays, MD, with Blue Tail Medical Group here in St. Louis. Blue Tail Medical Group specializes in regenerative non-surgical therapies. If you're a candidate for regenerative therapy, request an appointment online at bluetailmedicalgroup.com. Thank you.